Okay, I was like, someone gave me some, like, devil eyes, or, you know, deviled eggs. I'm saying, I think people are trying to, you know, use the 35 time dil dilator. Fentanyl to frame brown, because they're trying to take brown out, you know. Because they're afraid of the seminoles, the semen of the semen, the inseminating sperm, Pocahontas, Cleopatra. But they always have a thing for tanned women, you know what I'm saying, like Native Americans. But, like, they used uh, them to deduce the code in uh, uh, World War II because they were genetically related, uh, separated by the Bering Strait, you know what I'm saying? So they were the closest people that could understand what, uh, you know, was being said by Japan. Um, so I'm saying there's nothing wrong with brown. It's chocolate. It's like your chocolate lab, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm saying, yeah. But you have to remember that everything's transitionary. So like when people are like, huh? How did X, X Y chromosome and, and XX chromosome connect? And it's like, well, there's a transitionary period. It's, it's going down that roller coaster. Is coming up, and I'm saying there. And if you think of it on a positive way, there's a positive uh, roller coaster. There's a positive hill on the other side of that dip. You just can't see it. Perhaps just draw it in with orange, by understanding how uh, deviation, uh, standard deviations work, and then put one on top and put one on bottom. There, there, you have your hill. I'm saying so. If you're a Higgs boson trying to quantum entangle, uh, just remember you can like go up to the midpoint and just like go across to like it like that i don't know like particle physics there's there's a in the center is like where it's most stable i believe i would say it's kind of basically like finding the inverse of this you know like when you look at a radio static radio star anyways so as i, I think what we have here is like if you if you try to overthink it and you don't want to quote unquote perish um, then you may de develop a resistance against proteons. You know what I'm saying? The proteon threat, the proton therapy. Because protons are, are very ancient. You know, like how I was saying electrons are ancient. Well, basically, um, oh, by the way, in that Halo 3 map, the Da Vinci code, I said Da Vinci needs to see me after class because it's just arbitrary physics, the arbiter. It's like, I want to speak to the arbiter around here, you know? I want to speak to the person in charge. <laughs> and I found out it was the Da Vinci Code. All, all the physics up until this point had been decided by this math, which made it, you know, seem as if our universe was super deterministic. And I was like, oh, well, I, I need to see him after class. <laughs> no, I don't remember what death was. Anyways. I said, see, it was the D theory and the V theory all along that knew how to hide. Because Voyager doesn't understand getting bigger and smaller, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm saying in an infinite amount of time, if you run the simulation, it's just going to come back down to whatever it's gravitationally attracted to, which is informational, right? I said, that's why you had Lewis and Clark. That's why my middle name's Lewis. You know, Shane Lewis Adams. But, you know, I go by either Shane Lewis now. Um, uh, Lewis, right there, is uh, in Clark to go on an expedition to manifest destiny. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Clark Tech. And so if, if you realize that, that uh, between chromosome sets, like, it's just time. Literally time that, like, makes you evolve a new chromosome. And not just... C fouring at seventy two, you know what I'm saying? It's just under ages of understanding. So if you, that's the way to think in T, which is just technology. But I'm saying you didn't even change your your thinking at one at all from from uh, what T was. Um, like a technological, basically that's being a trans. Because, you know, forty two, if forty two percent of them. Uh, enact C4 at 72 of overthinking. If they C4 for their 72 Virgos, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just realizing they could have C4'd in a better way at 26 using piety. 
you know, using piety. Um, and uh, kept going to C5. Basically, I'm saying you're thinking like a technological being now, a transitionary being. Now you understand how macroevolution and microevolution connect. It's just the dynamic of how time passes due to how particles interact. So I'm saying the T, the answer to that was uh, T, trans people, literally. I'm asking all those trans people, I'm saying, what's death? You know, the 42%, I'm asking them, what's death? Also, uh, you know, I think that the key term here is AGP on, on 4chan, you know, like AGPs. Well, I'm saying, yeah, because if, if, if you think like 42, but you align more with uh, XY, if you find yourself more male, like, then you're just labeled as autistic. But if if you uh, if your T and you align more with XX, if you feel more like that, then you're going to be labeled as trans. And that perception is going to uh, pervade throughout people's minds, and that's going to cascade. And they're going to there's it's going to stack pressure. It's going to become T to the exponent of one, and it's going to stack pressure because it wants you to see four at seventy two. But I'm saying don't be that 42, that C4 is at 72, Earth years of consideration. I'm saying if, if, you're, think, if you're a trans person thinking about 40, doing the 42%, it's because you've got a lot of pressure. So T1 is understanding that Da Vinci just randomly, arbitrarily bullshitted something. Um, then there's T2. So the Terminator line. The technology, which is why people were afraid of T. Oh, the transmissions, the trannies. T2, T stressor with 2, T stressor with 3, T stressor with 4, T stressor with 5. I'm saying once you're a fifth dimensional being, I think you can, uh, when AGP, when grandpa, angry grandpa is like, the Mians were right. Um, <laughs> like, I'm asking him, he's like, I don't want to die. I don't know what death is. You know what I'm saying? He kind of lived the Hugh Hefner life, the male Hugh Hefner life. What's wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? What's death? I don't really understand. But I'm saying me, personally, I identify with this as like I see him as a grandpa figure, right? And I'm saying, but I still understand the female side of things because I don't think they're under misunderstandable beings whatsoever. <laughs> so I was like, this is what... I'm like, I don't know, it's more like the hyena type of mindset. If I, you know, if I add this chromosome set to the mindset, I'm asking, where's the federal unemployment tax act? You know what I'm saying? That's Terminator 6, the T6. <laughs> bro. Oh no, bro.